The government enforces us to cover our genitalia. Do you say, no, they are inhibiting our choice? No, you say, oh yeah, that's, that's modesty. Okay, who decided that's modesty? The Quran Lee app, subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging and fun. Download it today. Asalaamu Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. So earlier this year, I missed this uh, bit of news to be honest guys. Earlier this year, apparently Miss USA committed suicide. She was 30 years old and the reason she committed suicide was she said that continuously online she received messages calling her old, she was 30, and calling her ugly. Now bear in mind that Miss USA had graduated in law. So she was smart, she was beautiful. You know, so she had stuff that many of us would think, SubhanAllah, people, why would somebody like that? Miss USA, so you got the beauty, you got the brains, you got the best of both worlds. Why would she commit suicide? Because we do care what society thinks. We care what people think. We care what society thinks. Yeah, it's unfortunate and it's at varying levels. And this is very important to understand because unfortunately and sadly, this is just an example. Some sisters, when they take off the hijab, they say, oh, it's, it's our choice. It's our choice to take off the hijab. You know, certain brothers, when they shave their beard, oh, we did it out of choice. It's our choice. But is it? Is it your choice? I wouldn't say it's your choice. And let me explain. It's not your choice for you to put on the hijab and to grow the beard because Allah told you to. Yeah, Allah told you to. And it wasn't your choice to take the hijab off and shave the beard because society told you to. The fashion industry told you to. Yes, because think about it. In the fashion industry, there are 20 main brands. And out of those 20 brands, only a few, H&M, Zara, ASOS, there's only a few that do something called fast fashion. Now, fast fashion is something that increases the production line of the fashion industry. Yeah, normally there are two seasons in fashion in the whole year, two seasons. But fast fashion makes 52 seasons, mate. 52 seasons. That means every week there are new clothes. Yeah, so those 20 fashion brands become four or five fashion brands. Yeah, only a handful. So when you say you have a choice, do you necessarily have a choice? when these fashion brands dictate, they are literally dictating what you're wearing. And then when you go to the shop, you don't get to decide which retailer is around your area. It depends. It depends. So you go there and again, the clothes have been picked. So you have this illusion of choice. You have 20 things that have been selected. Out of those 20, I'm going to pick, I want this and I want that. Not necessarily. Same with the brothers. Yeah, you see all these footballers, you see all these stars, you know, without a beard and you're like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shave it off as well. Well, now it's a bit different, isn't it? A lot of people, it's part of fashion to grow the beard, but this is maybe 10 years ago, it wasn't fashion. Yeah, so this is something to bear in mind, guys, the illusion of choice. And let's stop saying this because, look, when it comes to hijab and, you know, other things, the beard and other things, just giving examples, we're like, yeah, yeah, choice, yeah, choice is very important. But guys, bear this in mind. The government enforces us to cover our genitalia. Do you say, no, they are inhibiting our choice? No, you say, oh yeah, that's, that's modesty. Okay, who decided that's modesty? Can you prove it using first principles? Can you prove that this is the correct way? Not necessarily. So the West says modesty is covering this bit and covering that bit. Islam just extends that further to the hair. So why are you saying Islam has a different moral standard? So guys, let's, let's bear this in mind and let's not get deluded into this Western notion of, oh yeah, the, the choice over there. Because Western notion, if you don't put on the seatbelt, you don't stop at a red light. No, but that's for our safety. So that's the safety of the people. What's so with uh, covering yourself? Are you honestly telling me a person that's covered is going to attract predators equally to a person that's exposing themselves? No. Bear in mind, I'm not saying that the person that exposed themselves is asking for it. Yeah, I know people jump on that straw man argument. No, what I'm saying is you can't compare the two. Yes, a person that's clothed can also be attacked by a predator. So guys, 
Let's bear this in mind. This whole notion, oh, it's my choice, mate. No, it's not. You took the hijab off. You decided to stop praying because of what's around you. You're the fashion industry, the role models you have, your friends. These are the things that dictated to you and you just, you wanted to fit in with the crowd. That's what you wanted to do. Just like this woman. She was receiving these messages and because she wasn't validated by these messages, it affected her. She cared too much what other people think. She took her life. I don't want you to follow the same trajectory. It starts with the hijab, starts with the beard, starts with salah. And then that's where it can go to. May Allah protect us. And guys, let's leave it there. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.